Bitcoin is parabolic right now. I'm talking absolute monumental pomperinos, big girthy to the sky right now, okay? Uh, the targets are going to be revealed in this video. First, you've got to like it. If you could like the video, it'd be great. Uh, but besides that, yeah, I mean, we are looking initially for the low 90s here. Uh, this could obviously go down first. We haven't had a pullback in a while. We have just gone straight up. So potentially, yes, we do get a pullback here as low as 76k. But besides that, in this video, we're going to talk about the state of Bitcoin. We're going to talk about the trades that I'm looking for. And we're just going to talk about all of the indicators you want to be watching here uh, when we are getting into this, right? Uh, first one, as you can see, with, with this is the bull market barrier okay bull market barrier if we're above this barrier here okay this little gummy worm then typically we're in a bull market currently we are above it we have been below it for quite some time but what i will say is uh yeah as you can see here in previous cycles when we do smash it above this bad boy uh it is something that one turns blue and it's something that is incredibly profitable for longs okay so what we're really looking for here today is this this next week to close above 78k if we can close next week above 78k it is a massive monumental sign for bitcoin that we do actually end up not just in the low 90s but uh, we can run from that point all the way up to uh to the mid hundred thousands all right uh, and i'm going to show you roughly where i'm aiming for here okay so uh yeah if we are looking at this logarithmic growth curve here so this is something you can do on gold you can do it on silver any asset with a limited supply here uh, you can actually do this and watch the growth of the asset and predict the bigger range on super cycles like we can see i say super cycles uh, but typically these are super cycles right uh, but we can see here that the top of this line right here right now uh, is currently around three hundred and sixty thousand dollars okay i'm not gonna say that's a definite possibility that's gonna be something that's uh, we're definitely getting that high uh, no a lot of things gonna happen particularly uh, with the massive i mean civil war in america let's let's just call it what it is <laughs> right the civil war in america that's gonna happen next year uh that's gonna be very much an ecological war ecological uh, economical war not ecological well, probably ecological as well but um yeah economical war we're gonna see uh, over the next year uh, with the dems basically rage quitting the economy gonna try and dump the stock market to try and make trump look bad you gotta think about all these things that are gonna happen the next moves these guys are gonna take uh, that they're gonna play and how that's gonna affect the markets right so yes i'm expecting a major massive bull run towards the end of this year as soon as trump gets in i'm expecting huge huge volatility. I'm expecting most likely big, big 10, 20% swings in the market, right? So we have to be aware of that. It's not going to be as simple as the other bull runs we've had, okay? Uh, the world has never been as crazy as, as it is right now. So what we are going to say is, uh, yes, we can target that high at 360, but uh, what's more profitable is to aim for the 150s, okay? We aim for the 150s, and then we basically trade it in a massive, massive grid bot uh, over the next year or even the next four years here where we would expect Bitcoin to essentially oscillate between around 60k and 200k uh, with massive massive swings okay uh, this is really what i'm looking for for the next year and one of the biggest strategies you can do here obviously buying now is is a great thing to do if you're not using leverage if you just want to buy now want to get that 20 percent up, up to 100k uh, that's absolutely fine and i would expect us to get there by the end of the year okay um, and guys i have been doing this for a very long time now i actually started trading crypto uh, just after 20k was hit so some no i think it was just before 20k was hit um where is this thing where is this thing yeah it was just just before here just before the the top here uh, at, at 20k so uh, yes i have been around for a while i do know how this thing works but we have to take into account all the variables here when it comes to bitcoin uh, one of these variables that are a massive tick box for this bull run is the volume weighted ATR band. So this is the average true range weighted by volume, one of the best indicators out there. I say that because I made it, but it is something I've used for years now. And it's something that, uh, yeah, maybe I just got lucky and stumbled across it, but it's very good at plotting the range here, as you can see. Okay, we've got four hours and then we've got the one day volume weighted ATR bands. I want to focus on the one day here because the one day is uh, incredible right now. Okay, so this is really what we're looking at right now. If we are looking at the one day, we can see it. We got over it here in the last 
will run at 33k. Okay, if this is gonna, there we go, beautiful stuff. When we get over that one day and the bull market barrier, it's usually parabolic, okay? And we have just done that with both of them, okay? So really, let's get this week out the way. Next week uh, is really gonna be the confirmation where we say, hey, yes, we may get a little pullback, but overall, we're expecting up until Christmas to absolutely blast it towards the moon, okay? Big time. Big, big time for Bitcoin right now, okay, and crypto as a whole. Uh, but uh, one thing we will say is if we do go back through the history and we just kind of uh, reinforce that data of the one day here, got over the one day and the bull market barrier here, bang, massive run up to 60K, okay? The run before that, even the 20K run here, we can see the exact same thing happened, okay? Over the bull market barrier, over the one day, and then boom, Bob's your uncle, okay? We bang it all the way up, okay? When when do we know that this run is going to end though, right? If you're a bit more cautious here, you could probably take profit or close your trades with a trailing stop loss on this one day volume weighted ATR band, okay? Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, get back in when we break the high. Cool, you're going to sacrifice a bit of profit, but you're not going to get caught out by the major, uh, I would say, collapse of price at the end of every bull market that we see, right? So uh, with this right now, what we're looking at and how to play this bull market successfully and correctly is to stay above this one day volume weighted ATR band, stay above that bull market barrier. And if we lose both of those at any point here, guys, uh, that would be the time to exit, okay? That's as simple as it gets. That is the investment strategy here. If you are uh, trading without leverage, you're trading spot, right? You're looking for those gains. We're talking about potential, uh, like, yeah, the 2X here on Bitcoin, which is fantastic. But if it gets even higher than that, right? If it gets to the big, big targets, we're looking at potentially even nearly a 4X here. So uh, yes, I mean, Riding this all the way up on spot with no leverage, absolutely fine. If you want to use leverage, if you want to degen out here, I would definitely not go above maybe even a 3 or a 5x leverage, particularly on something like Bitcoin. Uh, but if you have to, then uh, yeah, that's what this next section is for, okay? If you haven't liked the video yet, please, 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 please do. It does help me out a lot, and uh, we are trying to grow the channel a lot this run here, right? But if we are looking at this, uh, what we're looking at right now is the liquidation heat map. So this is the shorter term uh, kind of aspect and optics that we need to be looking at here for Bitcoin coin when it comes to price and when it comes to direction. If we are looking at this right now, we can see that we did just complete a measure move. That measure move is now done. So we should be expecting a bit of a pullback here. Okay. Uh, we have also smashed through massive, massive liquidation levels. What this is, is when we get a big move, okay, open interest and volume will change dramatically. Then we get a liquidation level based on a leverage, right? So this uh, would be put in around here when we have massive changes in open interest. And uh, yeah, that is going to basically take that change and say, hey, let's say people um, 10x shorted here, right? Their liquidation level is going to be up here. Then uh, yes, if, if market makers want to target that, we should be expecting that level to be a prominent level, not just for a take profit, but an area in which we can actually reverse and pivot from. We can see here, we've actually hit four of these guys or nearly four of these guys. If we were on, uh, on uh, perpetuals or futures, yeah, we probably would have hit four of these guys already. Uh, and yeah, typically when we do hit this many of them, we do get major, major pullbacks. As you can see, we did with these, okay. Uh, uh, so, oh, hello. Uh, so, yes, um, I would be expecting a pullback more than anything here, okay? Um, could be wrong, okay? We have just flown up over the weekend. I do want to show you one more thing as well here, and that is the CME gap here over the weekend, which uh, if you don't know what CME is, guys, CME is traditional markets. They only trade Monday to Friday, and what we're looking at with CME is, uh, yes, when this thing is closed and we get big price movements, we get something called a CME gap. So CME closed here on Friday. It then opened again here on Monday or Sunday nights, right? So we now have this massive gap here all the way down to 76k, uh, all the way up to 79k. Uh, and if we do actually want to pull back here and fill this CME gap, uh, it's something that's actually quite likely impossible to happen, all right? So uh, yeah, a dump here of 3% down to 79k is definitely something we should be thinking about and definitely something we should be looking at, potentially even as a trade here uh, coming down. Obviously, we're on the 15 minute right now. Let's bring this to an hourly where it makes a little bit more sense. Uh, we can see here that yes, we do have structure put in. We do have a lot of green candles here on the hourly. Uh, so if stock market opens today uh, and they're not bullish, what we're going to be expecting here is probably a massive crash all the way down to about 80k, okay, or 
79k, which again is ridiculous. Literally a week ago, we were down in the 60s, <laughs> okay? So uh, yeah, fantastic stuff for Bitcoin right here. Uh, this is the time to really be looking at longs more than anything, but if you have to, uh, then there may be a short here you can get. If you are looking for longs though, one thing I will say is just wait for those highs to break, okay? Uh, obviously some pullbacks would be great and breaking patterns at the same time is also fantastic. Uh, so if we are gonna look at a measure move here, if this did wanna take another leg up, if we broke this high on the hourly here, guys, I would be looking on the 15 minute for an up, retest, break of a high, and then completing the measure move up to 84, all right? But I do just wanna stress that uh, we have been going up for some time here, all right? So if we do bring up the daily, Let's bring up that daily bang. Okay, we can actually see that we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven green daily candles now. So we should be expecting a bit of a dump soon. Okay, I hate to be the guy, but that's that's what we should be expecting just typically uh, based on the markets. Okay, we're not going to get more than probably 12 green candles in a row. It's very rare that we get above nine green candles in a row, as you can see here, right, without a pullback. Okay, so we can go back through all the data here of the past year, <laughs> right, and we can see that this rarely ever even happens okay even to get this many green candles very very rare we can see it happened here okay but then yes massive pullback from that point okay and this wasn't a small pullback either okay we're looking at four percent something like that if it's off the top of my head here uh, yeah four percent spot on four percent good job brain but uh we can see here that yeah if we, when we do get these big big uh like Se 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 sequential <laughs> sequential uh, green candles, uh, then uh, yes, uh, we should be expecting a pullback fairly soon, right? That's the, the summary there. But um, yeah, in summary for the whole video, guys, what I'm looking at right now is a pullback first, okay, and then a dump arena. No, not a dump arena. Let's start again, okay? A pullback first, okay, and then a pump, and then with that pump, if we break the high, there is a massive entry point here we can get into uh, in which we just absolutely blast it up, okay? We blast it up, high 80s, 90s even, and then I definitely think around 100K or 95-ish, we should be expecting a big drop off here, massive, massive pullback more than anything, okay? Uh, but until that time, it does look like it's straight up, uh, just maybe a few pullbacks along the way, all right? Uh, that's going to be it from me. Have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next video and uh, be sure to trade safe out there. There will be some signals coming on my Patreon, um, some free signals for Bitcoin. So all you gotta do is press follow, you get the free signals. Uh, just head to my Telegram if you're interested in that. Uh, and then, um, yeah, there will be the paid signals straight after that as well, right? But that's gonna be it for me. Have a fantastic day. Be sure to like the video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.